today is March 26th, which means today is Purple Day! Now, Purple Day is a day where you raise awareness for epilepsy all day long. I mean, March entirely the whole month is Epilepsy Awareness Month. So, I mean, Purple Day is just that times, I guess, 30? <laughs> um, or 26, I guess, since it's on the 26th day. So, now you guys are watching this tomorrow on the 27th because my videos get posted on Wednesdays. I have plenty of other videos that I have talked about my seizures and how I deal with them uh, on my health channel, this channel. And if you go to my videos, then you can definitely check all of them out. <laughs> Today, in particular, I'm feeling pretty awesome, which is awesome. <laughs> Having epilepsy can be pretty depressing. Um, I don't know anybody with epilepsy who doesn't have some form of depression or anxiety or, you know, some sort of emotional issue. I've had seizures now for 12 years. After all these years, after trying so many medications, my type of seizures typically are not able to be cured. I'm not eligible for surgery to stop my seizures. Currently I am taking CBD oil and I'm taking quite a high dose every day and that has actually been helping me to decrease my seizures a lot. I still have seizures though um, but it's a lot more rare than it has been in the past. So now I only really have tonic-clonic seizures if I go too many hours without sleep or, you know, if I actually miss the dose of the CBD oil. And I've been doing a ketogenic diet as well as being vegan. It can be difficult sometimes when you live with people who like to eat pasta all the time. But keeping healthy fats in my diet is definitely helping. I have lots of coconut oil with all my meals. Um, I get the Vega Omega oil, which is really awesome. You can put it on everything and it tastes great. My point of this video is that you don't have to go on with your life if you have epilepsy feeling like you can't do anything because Molly Burke, this beautiful, wonderful soul who is also a blind YouTuber, she says, do what you can't. So many people tell me that I can't do so many things just because I have epilepsy. Because of my type of epilepsy. Because I experience pretty much all the types of seizures. So what I've realized is that if I'm careful and make sure to manage my health, make sure to take all the things that I need, you know, keep a ketogenic diet, and keep taking my CBD oil, then, you know, I can pretty much do anything. So people won't think of me anymore as, oh, this epileptic person has YouTube channels. No, they'll think of me as, oh, this awesome woman, she has a bunch of YouTube channels and she does so much and she also happens to have epilepsy, you know? I want to be thought of like that. You know, see the person, right? You know, that's what Epilepsy Toronto is all about. And if you're from Toronto, you've experienced the wonderful joys of Epilepsy Toronto, then you know what I'm talking about. My best friend, 
I met her at Epilepsy Toronto. I was very reluctant to go to the first youth support group, but with my mom constantly bugging me, you should go, you should go, you should go, because that way you'll hear stories from other people with epilepsy who are your age and you won't feel alone and I am really glad that my mom convinced me to go because if I didn't go I would definitely still be crazy I think what I mean by crazy is um, being reckless not really thinking about my health but because of all the awesome friends that I've made from that support group including my best friend I am where I am now I am more responsible with my health I am aware that there are things that I shouldn't do because I just happen to have epilepsy and if I do those things then there's a risk of me having a seizure and nobody there who knows I have a seizure to have the knowledge on how to take care of a seizure properly because a lot of people even nowadays still think that you're supposed to put a spoon in somebody's mouth when they're having a tonic-clonic seizure, which is not the case because you're not gonna swallow your tongue. Your tongue is attached to the bottom of your mouth. You're not gonna swallow your tongue. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little heated when I <laughs> talk about that. You can choke on your own saliva though if you're not in the proper position. That's why when somebody is having a tonic-clonic seizure, you're supposed to put them on their side and support their head so that it's aligned with their spine so that way uh, they don't choke on their saliva and also they have a clear airway so that they can actually breathe because that can be difficult if you're like this then you can't actually breathe properly and you can turn blue pretty fast if you have epilepsy then I am absolutely sure that there are support groups around you for people who have epilepsy for your age group and if not if there is um, a group that deals with epilepsy you can find a way to get a support group for your age group or you know you can just start an organization by yourself I feel like that's what I should have done in high school. You know, just print a bunch of papers on what to do when somebody has a seizure and just give it to everybody in the school. That would that would have been pretty ballsy, but pretty awesome as well. You know, I am definitely proud of where I am right now. I have grown so much. I know so much more. But I still know that there is so much more to learn in this wonderful life that I have. If you don't have epilepsy, but you know somebody who does, please, 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 I can't stress this enough, please, give them your support and be there for them. Because it can get pretty bad emotionally when somebody with epilepsy when they feel like they're alone. Anybody with any kind of disability can feel pretty alone in certain times when their emotional state is not at its highest like mine is right at this moment. If you don't have epilepsy and if you don't know anybody who has epilepsy you can still get involved. You can search around your community to help people who have epilepsy. You can volunteer to help around in communities. In Toronto, we have Epilepsy Toronto, and there's a bunch of people who don't have epilepsy who uh, work at the office and helping out to 
get your community involved and to help your community understand something that not everybody has. It can definitely help to change the world and to help people not feel so alone and depressed because they feel like nobody understands how they're feeling at that moment. When you do your research, you get the knowledge, you can help other people to give them the knowledge and it just causes a ripple effect and those people give other people knowledge and those people give other people knowledge and then the whole world has knowledge of what epilepsy really is. It's not just tonic-clonic seizures, it's a bunch of different types of seizures, partial seizures, it, like seizures that I have uh, are twitches and basically it's just a jerk of the hand, of the leg, you know, it's something like that. I have absence seizures where I look like I'm spaced out, you know, and yes, I have tonic-clonic seizures too. But those aren't the only types of seizures. I know somebody who takes off her clothes uh, when she's having a seizure. She's not aware of it at all. There are people who have laughing seizures where they're just laughing uncontrollably and I have had that a couple times. I think one or two times that I've had it, I have been aware of it, but I wasn't able to stop myself and it started hurting so I started crying and I just couldn't stop you know laughing uncontrollably and it just it hurt I mean laughing can be fun but to a certain point if you're laughing too hard then you can really hurt yourself so laughing seizures are honestly no laughing matter. There's so many more types of seizures. There's so many different ways to treat seizures and not everybody can actually be treated like me to completely remove the seizures because even with the CBD oil and the ketogenic diet it's helping a lot but the seizures are not completely gone. Still, it's very important to remember to stay positive. Whether you have seizures, whether you know somebody who has seizures, whether you don't have seizures or don't know anybody who has seizures, you know, stay positive, you know, love everybody, show your love, you know, stay away from the negativity because when you're negative or somebody else is negative, it causes a ripple effect. But when you show your love to somebody and somebody else shows their love to somebody, it also causes a ripple effect. So I would prefer for love to be around the world and sure it makes me sound like a hippie, but you know, if you show your love, more and more love throughout the world, then you know, the world is gonna be full of love and not negativity so I love you and I love my dogs I love my mom I love my sister I love my dad I love my stepmom I love everybody in the world I love my best friend I love all my friends I love you know everybody at Epilepsy Toronto because they're awesome everybody's awesome I love you all and remember to see the person. I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you had a wonderful purple day and that you continue to have a wonderful Epilepsy Awareness Month. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not sure. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much.